Hi, my name is Travis Rakowski, and today we're going to talk about two important features of Zscaler Digital Experience. First, our integration with Microsoft Intune, and second, our software inventory. The combination of these two features further consolidates the amount of teams, tools, and dashboards required to diagnose end user experience issues, as well as deepening ZDX's visibility into the workstation. To kick things off, let's take a look at the Intune integration. At the top of the page, you'll now see a new section to view Endpoint Analytics score. From there, you can click on the hyperlink available and you'll be taken to a pop-out tab that'll include two things. One, it'll include the startup performance, so looking at those top processes that are impacting the machine's ability to boot effectively, as well as the overall software reliability. Are we seeing any applications crash or hang that are installed on the workstation? As we scroll down, you'll see those top impacting processes. In the software reliability section, you'll see the software that is causing the application crash or hang, as well as the associated version. To take this integration a step further, we also created a new section at the bottom under device events. As we work our way down to the bottom of the page, You'll now see a new user device section for Microsoft Endpoint. Here in that timeline, you'll see the various different application crashes and hangs, in this case, the Microsoft Edge software, again, as well as that associated version. Now that we understand that Edge is causing end user experience issues on this machine, and we have the version, we can take a look at this user's machine to understand when did these problems start happening and have they recently upgraded or downgraded the version of Edge on the workstation? To view that, we can head to the user software. From there, now we're looking at the software inventory that's installed on this user's workstation. You'll see Microsoft Edge called out and the current version. We can then also view the version history. So now we have an understanding of, hey, has this user recently upgraded or downgraded? And correlate that to when the problem started occurring. We can also look at this at an organizational level. So is this user using an out-of-date software in comparison to everybody else? Or is this a widespread version that we should be investigating further to see if it's crashing across the organization instead of just for that individual user? Again, the consolidation of all of this data into a single dashboard really streamlines the troubleshooting process for various teams across an organization. Thank you.